you might wonder, what are we looking for when we're doing a full skin check on a patient? Well, of course, we want to have our good lighting, and we're going to look at the skin in two ways. We're going to look at a big picture, and then we're going to look at each individual mole and determine a number of characteristics. Number one is the A for asymmetry. We're going to look at a mole and see, does the left side look like the right side? Does the top look like the bottom? The B of the A, B, C, D, E stands for border. We're going to evaluate the border of that mole because we want it to be a regular border and not a jagged border. C stands for color. We want that mole to be all one shade of color. In fact, this mole has a little dark dot in it, so that's not perfectly normal. D stands for diameter, generally anything larger than six millimeters, which is the size of a pencil eraser, is something that should possibly have a red flag. And lastly, E stands for evolving, anything changing, and many times the patient will have to be the one that brings that to our attention. There's another um, sign called the ugly duckling sign, and that's where you step back and you look at the big picture of that patient and you notice, aha, there's something that doesn't look like everything else. And in this case, it might be this mole. Whereas all the other moles are fairly small and more dark, this mole is much larger. So you might say that this mole demonstrates the ugly duckling sign. 